Okay, uh, it's August 29th, I think, uh, 2017. I'm in Chicago in the basement where I paint. And I've been working on this uh, painting for the last couple of weeks. You know, and I, I do my typical half an hour a day-ish uh, and then leave it for the next day. And it sets up a routine which uh, I'm comfortable with. Um, and am I going to leave it? Is it over? I don't know. I'm going to take it upstairs. It has been upstairs. I bring it down. And bring it up. And it's, you know, it's just kind of the mystery of when it, it's over. Uh, I don't try and understand it. Um, and in fact, that's my whole theory about art, really, is that, uh, one, don't trust the artist. <laughs> you know, the artist says, oh, and this I try to express. Well, you can say what you try to express, but it's on its own. Whatever it is, it is, I think. Like 2,000 years later, you can pull away the lava and see the statue, and it's stripped of any meaning or intent. Uh, and it is what it is. And uh, like artifact, the art, an artifact. That's what I think. It's something you kind of give to the future, I guess. Uh, I think so. That's why I'm not a performance artist. You know, I mean, it's its own thing, but uh, I'm for artifacts to the future now, maybe with YouTube and videos and film, that these are gifts to the future. I don't know. Uh, but I'm more into this myself. And so that's it. Uh, this painting, we'll see. You know, it's like uh, letting the hair lipped child live or something. It's not. We'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll totally paint over it. You never know. But I'll probably give it life. And uh, it may not be what I usually want in my paintings or something, maybe, or something. And usually it's I don't let it go until it, I do. But this is a departure somewhat. It's kind of lighter. Um, for one thing, I don't have a signature on it. And there is a signature underneath. But uh, So maybe I'll let that go. Uh, putting signatures on it is a pain in the ass, but, uh, so we'll see, that's all. And, uh, I think, uh, well, just as philo philosophy, as it were, you know, everyone wants to talk about this and that, uh, you know, people go around museums with earbuds in their ear and it's being explained to them what they're to look at and the significance of the painting. And I think it's all bullshit. I mean, you know, I do, I think, you know, you just kind of be stripped of words and just, you know, appreciate the painting the same way you would with food or music, you know, without lyrics, say, uh, you know, you just hear this music and you get moved, but it's not communication, I don't think. I don't think a painting is communication. I don't think Dango was saying, in this cornfield, blah, blah, blah. I mean, people will write the words later, but, uh, and even Van Gogh said, hey, and this thing, this, this cornfield means blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't trust him. You know, the guy's crazy. Uh, I think good art goes beyond the understanding of uh, the viewer or the creator. It's, uh, you know, it's just something that's done for some reason. And uh, if it moves you, then you're moved. And uh, if you want to put words onto it, you can. But I think it's a clumsy attempt after being moved what it was all about. You know, you find yourself on a chair at a rock concert, you know, and then later you could kind of say, well, I was on a chair because, and you could attempt to explain how it moved you, but uh, I don't think you really know. And at that point, if you're really moved, you don't have these words going through your head that uh, I don't think. So anyway, that's my theory. And uh, it's not fair. It's not democracy. Uh, the artists with the best intentions and the best theories and the best everything could just kind of make crap work, I think. And the guy who, uh, you know, has all the wrong motivations, has all the wrong <laughs> thoughts, who thinks he's doing X but is actually doing Y, he might be the great sheep. You know, it's like, uh, it's not a democracy, it's not fair. So that's, that's what I think. And uh, anyway, my name is Kevin Larmy, uh, and I'm babbling to myself to this iPhone uh, in my basement. And uh, as always, uh, this is something from the past, the future, I guess. And uh, I hope you're good.